Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is the Sabbath day, the 1st of April, Fool's Day, and the time is 20, uh, um, uh, 8.30 p.m. Uh, we are on the, is it the 10th day of Nisan, uh, 5783, the first month in the biblical, in the Hebrew, on the Hebrew calendar. Brothers and sisters, we are approaching the Easter time, the Passover, and I'm going to focus on this. You know, the world is coming against you. With the moment you survive the womb and survive the birth canal, the world is coming against you constantly. As you ex as you're coming out of the canal, you've got the enemy up against you. And if you have celebrated the birthday, like I just have, um, big on you, man. Because you survived. Many millions have died in this, this pandemic. Um, there are millions more dying. And if you survive each and every day, give, give thanks to the Lord, brothers and sisters. This Holy Week that's coming up is very, very important. We've got, um, you know, we've got the, uh, is the 7th of April when the Lord spoke to me three years ago is coming up. Um, I just want to give thanks to the Almighty because He's pulled me through a very, very difficult time when losing a your mother. And I'm very, very... Uh, uh, we, we five kids and I'm... I'm very, I've am i always been close to my mother. So it was a very, very tough time and the Lord carried me and I prayed to give Him... to give me the strength to want to... Uh, uh, or carry on a legacy because she was ailing. So brothers and sisters... I'm going to do a reading, a reminder of who Jesus is and this victory that is, we stand in the play, on a place of victory beside him. Man. Because he, the world is coming against you and you have to be that light unto the world to open the path. And only through the blood of Jesus can you do that. We're going to start with Matthew 27 as a reminder of who Jesus is. And what he went through, why he, he died on the cross, and what he went through for us. So we are Matthew 27, verse 46, we're going to start off. And about the ninth hour, which is about 3 p.m., Jesus cried with a loud voice, he's on the cross, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is to say, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He's actually crying out to himself, Father God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Some of them that stood there, the witnesses, when they heard that, that Jesus said that, they said, this man calleth for Elias. And straightway, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Is that, uh, Eli I always get confused, Elijah and Isaiah. Jesus, uh, the rest said, let me, let us see whether Elias will come save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom, and the earth did quake and the rocks rent. This is the physical veil in the temple. It was torn, and when it tore to the bottom, that's when the earthquake struck. And the rocks rent, the rocks shook, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. Hey, brothers and sisters, wow. Isaiah 50, that I just read, Isaiah 5, verse, is it uh, verse 5, uh, verse 3? Uh, I just read that Isaiah 5. Now, when a law, hell enlarged itself at this moment, that's when this happened. When that hell enlarged herself. Here's it, here's it. And the graves were opened, and the bodies of the saints which slept arose. Now, those bodies of the saints were in Abram's bosom. And Abram's bosom emptied out, and hell enlarged itself and took and uh, engulfed Abram's bosom in it inside it to make space for the sinners the billions of souls now it's like a prison enlargement uh, upgrade 
to the prison. That's what Jesus, the power of Jesus. And he emptied out the graves and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. I saw this, brothers and sisters. The Lord explained what I was seeing. And he explained the school, the underworld testament. It is the most powerful thing I've ever, ever experienced. Besides me getting saved and delivered. But, you know, it's, it's up there. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, truly, this was the Son of God. That moment, the, I bet you that this when BC, the year zero started. Because there they saw this is Jesus. Not his birth, because he didn't prove himself yet. Man is blind, you must understand. Second Corinthians 4 verse 4. Verse 4. For, uh, men have been, their hearts have been blinded. Right? And verse, verse 55. And many women were there be, beholding afar of which followed Jesus from Galilee ministering unto him. Among which was Mary Magdalene and the Mary of, Ma, of the Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's children, brothers and sisters. Now it says here, I'm going to just fast forward. Uh, Jesus goes into the rock, chapter 28. In the end of the Sabbath, like today, the end of the Sabbath today, as it began to draw toward the first day of the week, Towards Sunday, the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door where Jesus was behind and sat upon it. His countenance was like light. So they only arrived there on and Jesus was gone. They arrived there on the Sabbath, in the end of the Sabbath, which means three days before this, Jesus was, uh, Jesus died. And that is the Wednesday, the, the Lord's day. And that is the day he will come again. Because that's where the last, where they saw, where, 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 where mankind saw him, besides the, uh, when he reappeared to the disciples for the last time. That is the penultimate, basically, on the cross. When he went, and then he went, the body went into the into the tomb. Right? His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake, and he became a dead man. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, for I know that ye see Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. In that three days, that body went. In that three days that body went. But the angel only revealed on the third day. For he's risen and he's said, Come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he's risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. Therefore you shall see him. Lo, I have told you. Fast forward verse 17. And when they saw him, they were... Oh, okay. So they, verse 15, so they took the money and did as they were taught, and this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen and amen again. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. You've carried us through when the world come against you, brothers and sisters. Just remember Matthew 27 and 28. That is the account of what he had to endure on that cross and what happened to him. Every time you read that, you will get revelation and the Lord will reveal himself to you through his mighty works that he has done on this cross. Amen. Have a good evening.